Hey guys, welcome back to Games with Heath. Today I'm gonna be playing Spelunky again. Um, let's turn the game volume down a tiny bit. Okay, time to play. So, this run I'm gonna be a different character. So I've been this guy, this guy. And him. Today I'm going to be this guy. This cool looking dude. One sec. The volume's too low. Can you guys hear it good? I think. Okay, I'm gonna turn the game volume up a tiny bit. Oh yeah, this is perfect, I feel, right here. <clears throat> Let's start off with a warm-up. I always do a- I try to do a warm-up before I do runs, just to get my skills ready. I can't back whip. Let's see. Let's see if I can. One sec. Oh, I did it. I did it. Sorry, I had to try back whipping. I'm horrible at it. Well, that's okay. Just doing a quick back whip warm up. And I'm ready. Sorry, I just had to do my warm up. Because that's not a good idea to um, try to start without at least having a teensy bit of practice. Gem on the left is for beating Omek. Gem on the right is for beating Omek from the mines as your starting point. Gem in the middle is for, be is for beating a Hellrun. Okay, so, starting off, don't know what to make of this world. The first thing I've noted is, um, it wants to kill me. But that's normal for Spelunky, so, I'm not gonna think too much of it. All these pots are kinda having bad stuff. Just one sec. <coughs> Okay. Rock, be helpful. Rock will be helpful. Okay. Woo, snake. Um, I love whipping gold. Ah, oh, dirty rat. Let me pick up this beautiful, dirty rat. Uh, rat, I won't... Huh? Uh, yes, I can throw this rat at people to give them rabies! 10% extra damage. Ah, uh, awesome. Ah, uh, the snake has rabies. Woo! So, if I want to do a good run, um, I usually die if I try to ghost before the ice caves, so. Before I have a jetpack, I try not to ghost, unless I have a jetpack. Which is... I still die with a jetpack when ghosting. It's just pretty hard to die. Like you have to be a really real noob to die. Okay. There's shopkeeper. There he is. Say hello. Now you can say goodbye. He's dead. 
This is level two. You can say goodbye. I'm in level three. Whip the shotgun, whip the arrow, whip the golden treasure, whip, whip. Ah, oh, he's gonna use this damsel as a bulletproof, as a human shield. I'm sorry, damsel, but you're being with the wrong type of people. Don't be a human shield for somebody who's probably gonna shoot you anyways. Not a good idea. <clears throat> Spider! Got him, that just... I always have to be cautious when shooting, uh... What's their face? Uh, spiders. Because... Or at least the big spiders, because... They are sometimes don't get knocked back that far. And when I say sometimes, I mean 90% of the time don't get knocked back, so. Hello, Mr. Slithery Legless Serpent. Do you go by that, or should I just call you Snake? Um, <clears throat> okay, shopkeeper's already dead. What luck. And just the ultimate test of luck. Why is there so many bomb boxes in this world? It's kind of weird. I should call this the stream of Spelunky bombs. The Trail of Destruction. Okay, mines. Snake is dead. Bat. Dead. Arrow trap. Might be a problem. Okay, damsel. Hello, young lady. Come in to me. I say I rescue you. Stupid damsel, I accidentally walked the opposite direction of the way the gate to me being saved was. Okay, I'm sorry I was gonna jump on him, but he moved too fast, so I just spammed leave as fast as- Oh no, I have no bombs. This crate better be nice. Good RNG. Uh, good RNG. Good boy, RNG. Good boy. Uh, two, three, four. Should be dead. Ah, oh, I'm so tempted to ghost that vault, but I can't. I, uh, I cannot risk it. If I want to risk it, I can do a DC run. Okay, um... <gasps> uh, I jumped at the wrong time! <laughs> Oh. 
I was gonna jump and throw a bomb, but I realized I hate how much I hate shopkeepers. Let's see the KDR, guys. Uh ha. I'm still better than the shopkeepers. They have killed me 300 times, but I've killed them 886 times. And I've killed 400 innocent damsels as well. Damsel in distress is damsel in death. In a dead in death? Um, it's a work in progress. One damsel alive is worth two damsels dead to Kali. Hey, I made a Spelunky saying. I'm ha proud of myself. One dead damsel's worth two damsels alive. Well, two damsels dead are worth two dam or is worth one damsel alive. That's my way of trying to copy a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Or whatever the saying it goes. Haven't had sayings and phrases in a Quite a while, actually. Damsel, what do you want to be? Uh, do you want to be a live damsel or a dead damsel? If you want to be alive, do exactly what I say. Okay? So, first step is let me carry you to safety, my lady. Don't walk in spikes. You're a fast learner. Yes, hide in that hole. You're amazing. Amazing at doing practically nothing. Good job. Okay. There's shopkeeper. Now he's gone. You can say bye. Oh, this is very annoying. I'm trying to get like three things in the same spot. Kali. Kali. There. Uh, yes. Good damsel. Don't save. Don't get saved. It's bad for your health. Kali is good for your health. I don't have spring shoes or spike shoes. I take spike shoes. Spike shoes are very useful. They're a bit underrated, but they're still used a lot. Just not gonna risk any chances with any live arrow traps. So who knows what could go wrong? I do. So, I figured I died right there. Um. Okay, he's dead. Just have to make sure. That's why I like having music and sound on. Now... 
I'm used to going right, because right is the right way to go. Oh, 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 I'm so hilarious. But yeah. Boom! Shoot the crate! Boom! Shoot the chest! Boom! Shoot the arrow web! Shoot the web! Shoot the web! Shoot the gold! Shoot the old bearded guy with a shotgun! Shoot the spider! Shoot the rope! Shoot the dirt! Shoot the wall! Shoot the wood! Shoot the scorpion and the bat. Shoot the other bat that didn't get shot. With my help, you may shoot them all. Shoot the old guy three times. And the old guy is dead. Shoot the bat. Shoot the fat spider. Shoot the spider. <laughs> Ouch! Wait for the shopkeeper to accidentally jump in spikes. Seems like the safest thing to do. Just wait, because they're stupid. They're out and off themselves sometimes. soon. Come on, shopkeeper. I'm tired of waiting for you to off yourself. Go hurry up and off yourself already. Good job. Okay. Oh. Okay. I got somewhat surprised there. I didn't know that he was getting hit by a poison snake. I didn't know that pit would have dropped me right into a shopkeeper. I potentially missed the black market. I have a 33% chance of missing it now. But 66 is a high chance of it still being around. Eleven ropes. Pretty much no bombs. Snail's dead. Who's ever who's scared of a snail in this game, though? What you really have to be afraid of are those darn blue frogs. I mean, when you think of scary, what do you think of? Think of ghosts? If you say yes, you are unintelligent. If you say blue frogs, you are very intelligent. Shopkeepers, they're nothing compared to a blue frog. Blue frogs are the creatures of our nightmares. You know what would be awesome if the, the level generation like did it on how much bombs and ropes you had and stuff. So, like, I could get in here if there's, like, a bomb crate or something. That'd be awesome if there's, like, a bomb crate for me. Otherwise, I'm screwed. I want to do a hell run, but I wasted my bomb on accident.
Man. Oh! Uh -huh. I shot that piranha, I thought. Didn't I shoot him? I looked like I shot him. I'm, I, 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 Whip Moonwalk. Okay, I'm done. Who, which one of you people wants rabies? I'll come and take a get bitten by my beautiful rat. A beautiful, dirty old mangy rat. Oh crap! Rat ratatouille got shot. Ratatouille, how could you get shot? <gasps> no! 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 Don't shoot me! Don't kill me! Don't! No! Level one complete. This time I'm gonna try to be nice. Unless you have something I like, which you do. How can you ref say no to bombs? An ultimate tool of distraction and chaos. <laughs> Uh. Hey, damsel. Once I got knocked out on top and I fell on top of a Kali altar and I accidentally sacrificed myself. Which was unfortunately. Not, which wasn't supposed to happen. At least I have enough bombs. Some good level generation. Aw, oh, 18 bombs, six ropes? What is this? Aw, oh, this game is being nice to me. What going through here? <coughs> Sorry about the cough. Blast. Bombs are always good. Okay, that was called luck at its finest, boys. I hope you enjoyed. No! That's called luck at its worst! My stupid cape went up and flung me into the stupid air and it went... It's bullet. I'm angry. I want a smoothie. Spoova, spoover. I want a fruit spoover. Spoover, spoover. Oh, I got the groover, groover. Ooh, ooh. A fruit spoover, spoover. I got the groover, groover. Got the grooves. 
Let me show you some moves. Woo! No! I didn't even know that you could whip arrows until actually quite recently. And I learned that it could quite easily all go wrong. So don't whip arrows unless there's nothing else you can do about it. Next level, continue. I wish I could stream Splunky Classic and show you guys. It, it's it's like Splunky except uh, just say classic, I guess. It's like way weirder, but it is kind of fun. That's how you do it, boys and gals. It's called Whipping an Arrow. I should make this into a movie. Whipping an arrow! Whipping an arrow. Will he whip that arrow? Will, will he whip the arrow? Or will he fail? Will he whip the arrow? Will, will he whip the arrow? He whip the arrow. Will he whip the arrow? Can he whip the arrow? My... Oh my, he just whipped the arrow. He just whipped the arrow. Whoa! Sorry, I was making the whip. Can he whip the arrow theme song? Appearing on TV next week. Episode 1, Season 1. Can he whip the arrows of the mines? Season 2 is all about whipping the arrows in the temple. Season 3 is about dodging tiki's. And Season 4 is invading an alien ship. Yes, I don't know how it got to aliens that fast, but it managed to. It's still a good show, okay? I hope you guys enjoy it. It'll be on TV uh, next week. The first episode will be airing. Ooh, a knife! I can go stabby stab now. Lock the ability of knife. You unlocked knife! Knifey knife! Scat! 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 Ah! That's my getting knifed voice. Knife, all of you! I'm gonna knife you, I'm gonna knife you, I'm gonna knife you, knife you, knife you, I'm gonna knife you. For some reason, like a... See, like the orange, like, sun appearing when it gets hit? Like, see? I tried to slow it down so you could see it and watch. Oh. One sec. Oh my, that looks like a, more of like a machete. I just realized it is a machete. Oh boy. Oh me, oh my. Oh boy. Oh boy. Brand new Spelunky adventure series about whipping arrows. It's called Whipping Arrows. Mm. Rescuing a damsel and bringing 
so called rescuing a damsel quotation marks bring, by bringing her to a haunted castle the vampire killed and here's my brand new cape what is I heard in Spelunky 2 they're adding like Making liquids more realistic. So it won't just drain it, unfortunately. Okay, I'm pretty sure the black market's not in jungle level one. Top of the castle before. Okay. There's a damsel crying for help. What should I do? Should I answer the. Maiden's call? Or should I sacrifice the maiden to Kali? Oh, that's an easy, obvious answer. Kali! Holy cow, that guy's crazy. There's a spider climbing down. Oh crap, this guy's insane. Last one, best one. In every other level I play of Haunted Castle, that jerk is in the lap, is stuck upstairs. One time I can possibly get down, I have a freaking rifle, I blast them. Course, he manages to block a bullet with a freaking metal shield. Uh, a metal shield blocking a shotgun shot. Oh, great. Two web guns. Exactly what I need. My skin is crawling at least. I have 
sensitive skin. That's why my skin is crawling. The judge. No. Oh gosh, I feel like a. I feel like I'm just. That makes me feel awesome doing that. There's like a ton of guys with a ton. Which being I just. Let's anchor. Anchor into the ground now. Is this That was so freaking stupid. He immediately changes his pattern. As soon as I... Uh, and I shoot him first, but knocked out people can shoot guns, of course. shoes <sighs> okay I'm trying to save my bombs this run because every time I get to the black market I get my BU double T kicked I hate this recoil. Recoil myself into a snake, of course. Till they shoot each other. to steal the shopkeeper's beard I wish there was he has a very nice beard I know or do you just have to pay for it like normal um, unfortunately you have to pay for it I wish I could buy that beautiful beard I yeah what a ripoff it's true um, if you want to want, I'm gonna pr stream another Rogue Legacy tomorrow. Because, too. I like this game, too. Because this game is really quick. I like streaming long Rogue Legacy runs. What time? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll check. Um, sorry, um... Um, I'll try to maybe stream Rogue Legacy around maybe 1-ish, 1 p.m. I'd... 
I was playing it on Steam on the mod. Because they have a Legend of Zors mod. <laughs> There's something that's pretty cool. But that's what I do. But um yeah, I'll probably try to stream a rogue legacy at around one. I can't believe that shot hit me. I try to catch it if I'm not busy. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I probably won't suck as bad as I do my last one. Haha. <laughs> You were doing well. Well, thank you. I loved how I was just like, oh, this guy's easy. Game is tough at the start through mid. Yeah, once you get dark armor, it's just a breeze. For me, once you beat Ponce de Leon, it, it's just not... The dungeon is pretty difficult like the enemies, but after that... The last boss I destroyed with just a arch maze and dagger spell. I just ran in, in the corner and threw daggers until he died. It was surprisingly effective. Yeah, I, I beat through it on the mod and I'm in New Game Plus. But I'm still in mid game on my stream playthrough. Crap! I like how they added the Neo boss. Otherwise, the game gets way too easy late. Th that's why I like the mod. Yeah, the Neo bosses are insanely hard. The mod, if you played on Steam, um, it's called Legend of Zors. I think you can download it, it's free. Um, it, like, none of the stuff in the mod happens until you're in at least New Game Plus One. In New Game Plus One, if you kill yourself on s red spikes in the forest, it teleports you to the first secret area. But in that, it just adds, like, a different passive abilities, which make it, like, all the... Like, it's pretty easy the first playthrough, but once you get a New Game Plus and start unlocking all the extra bosses oh it's from the devs cool yeah it is yeah once you get a new game plus there's like th four extra bosses in the mod and three extra neo bosses the last boss is they just made it in the mod they made it way too hard it does two quintillion damage so but yeah, if you should try it. I that's what I play on Steam, the mod. But unfortunately, the Xbox doesn't have the mod. But that's okay. Shopkeepers. Going crazy. <laughs> Don't get shot, damsel. Uh, yeah. If you want to, it's called Legend of Zors. Um, I don't know if it already starts installed or... Because it, it's actually... Yeah, like I said, it only works in New Game Plus. You should check it out when you have free time. I'm gonna do one more Spelunky run. This is another roguelike. I like roguelikes. Okay. They're a fun genre. Cause I like a ton of other game types of games, but... Everybody who watches my roguelike playthrough seems to like them, because... Okay. 
Now this is some good level generation. show you guys an easy way to kill this old bearded guy oh uh, this bombs could really help me out but they're so expensive so what can you do about this <laughs> you ever check out tangle deep no I haven't not yet I'll look it up when I'm done with this stream an RPG-ish roguelike. Ooh, that sounds fun. Oh, crap. Boop. I played that one a ton recently. I'll have to check it out. I like RPGs and I like roguelikes. I was streaming Fallout 3 quite not too long ago, but... Oh my. I'm gonna probably upload those to YouTube later on. Tangle Deep. Tangle Deep. Remember that name. Cook the bomb. <laughs> well, guys, I I'm probably gonna wrap this up pretty quick because I try to keep my Splunky streams not too long because. So you can just like watch a quick Spelunky vid. It was I I love how I always get cocky when I play roguelike games. I'm like, oh this guy's gonna be easy. And then I immediately get killed. Haha. -ha. Yeah, haha. -ha. It is funny. I can sh this game is like um doesn't have like too much in the way like bosses and stuff but it's just so replayable like here I'll show you how like good I am at this like look at how many kills I have of everything including innocent damsels I kill like four how do you think that guy's nose got red? Um, I don't know. That's a theory of its own. I'll have to. Th mm. He probably got stung by a bee. Like one of the fourteen times I was an idiot and died by getting stung by a bee. It's a pretty boring theory, but probably the most logical. What is he doing trying to smell a bee? I didn't know. Who smells bees? That's just very weird. Hey, dude. Isn't this a nice little gift? You must be confused. You're supposed to smell flowers. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Quan is Whoa, whoa, I cooked that bomb like a grenade and cod. You must be confused, you're supposed to smell flowers. Yeah, I mean that makes the most sense. 
Does a shotgun have unlimited ammo? Yes. But even if you do have a shotgun, uh, um, even if you have any weapon, what's the cooldown between shots? It has a recoil of a block, and I think maybe a second or two seconds. Like, this is the last, this is the um, fourth world. There's ten different worlds, but there's five regular worlds and five secret worlds. Now, this guy is a pain in the butt. Those pink waves kill you in pretty much one hit. This world is completely... It's not... This world, you can be... If you're lucky with level generation, it can be easy. But if, if you don't do it, it's pretty dang hard. Like, the amount of times that I died with a shotgun or jetpack is probably at more than times I've died without them. Because when I get a... Do you think your guy's wife hates his mutton chop? But he refuses to shave anyways? Um... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe this guy just really likes his... His facial haircut. I, I mean, I don't think it looks very attractive, but... Maybe it's just... Maybe he's stuck in a different time period. Yeah, he looks really proud of it, though. <laughs> like, just look at how happy his face looks. Just do like a annoyed, like, just like a serious 1800s face. This guy looks like one of those 1800s photos, because you know how none of them ever look happy? They just have like a serious face and they're dressed in black. Now these crush traps are the scariest things on the whole game. Cause I every time I get to the temple, I have a freaking jetpack, a shotgun, and I'm about to they move quick and sometimes I don't even realize there's a crush trap there. And they're extremely hard to like so annoying. These tiki traps are also very annoying. They only do four damage, but... And they're pretty easy to predict. It's just... They put them by the exit door all the time and... St stuff like that. They just put t a crap ton of tikis in, ran in bad places. I like using the environments like traps against my enemies a lot of time. Now this guy looks pretty easy in the base world. Like, he looks kind of basic boss, but... It's way too hard. This looks easy, but it's very difficult. That was very close. Um, the hitboxes in this game are sometimes questionable, but other than that, it's really fun. Apart from somewhat questionable hitboxes, it's good. Yeah, okay. Crap. Purple disc guy. Ugh! I'm attempting that guy one more time. Like, it looks pretty easy to just go under him and stuff like that. It's just... It's a lot harder than it looks.
I'm usually luck out. I was gonna say I'm usually unlucky and stuff like that, but. That time I was good. I try to stream this quite often because I'm trying to get secret world wins. See, there's a secret world that's pretty hard to get to. But if you do get to it, it's fun. I've only gotten there twice. Actually, thrice. I like the word thrice because it's so close to the word rice and I really like rice. Okay, I can beat the boss one time at least. This is the first boss. It's pretty easy. It's a basic boss. The second boss is a bit more confusing. I'll say a bit more. I don't mean a smidge more. I mean, I'll t uh, you don't even know what you're doing. I just blasted him. I s when I got to the Secret World's boss, I was just like, boss, shoot. This guy's immune to damage. You have to knock him in. Ugh. Oh, how? I'm confused. What happened? How did I get... That dude just done squashed you. <clears throat> yeah, that just uh, like I said, that boss's hitboxes are weird. He can like knock you out sometimes just if you're on like the corner of him, which is really weird. But it just sometimes happens. Here's the world I didn't show you, and other here are all the worlds. After hell, hell's the secret world. And then after that, it's just secret levels. City of gold is fun. This world is... Is there a world with flesh walls? Yes, there is. I might be able to show you it. Yes, I will. So you see this thing right here? Okay, I'm... My... Yeah, there it is. That world is way too hard. There's things with infinite health that only take damage if you use an instant kill weapon, which there's only one of. Or if you get hit. Then they die. Here it is. Bring the damsel and throw her into this thing and jump in with her. I'm in so I'm in the King Yeti's belly. This world is very cheap. I try not to go in this world that often because I hate it. I hate it. Like a weapon at the end? Yes, there's a weapon at the end. Right in this huge acid pool. See that thing down there? It's called the Chris knife, which is the best thing in the game. It's a one hit kill. It can even kill these weird things in one hit. One hit, instant kill. The 
after I get in here, I usually don't end up getting out. Is there any incentive to come here? Yes. I didn't see the is there any incentive part. Sorry. This level's like 30 times as long as a regular level, though. Which like, is just, I'm not used to that. What? I hope I taste good at least. <laughs> See, that world is just way too big, which is... The levels are normally pretty small, but... It can get big, depending on which world you go in. And the camera! This is actually... Oh, I'm... If you take too long to beat a level, it isn't like Mario where you just die. Um. A ghost comes. You can freeze stuff with a camera. Look at this! Look! Haha! <laughs> the camera's my favorite thing. Oh, that was, that was, this is awesome, guys. So you have two and a half minutes to beat every level. Or a ghost will come. Now, it kills you no matter what. Okay? But if it, go, if it goes on top of gems, um, it turns them into diamonds, which are worth even more. And these golden idol heads... The Chris stop it? No, the Chris knife does not stop the ghost. Nothing stops the ghost. Except photography. Yes, the camera will stun the ghost for about two seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Two seconds, actually. Chris stops everything except the ghost. Now, um, 45 seconds before ghost comes. So, I'm gonna take a couple pictures of people taking pictures. No, camera, I love you. And now this guy's angry. I just took your picture, dude. Taking this guy's picture knocks him out. This must be a pretty bright light, though. Um, eight seconds, and then I'll show you the ghost. Two seconds. You'll hear a terrible chill runs up your spine. And here's the ghost. So, it kills everything. But you can take a picture of the ghost and freeze it in place. Beautiful. Yes. The ghost is beautiful. Those are some healthy lips. Very healthy. This ghost takes good care of her lips. Oh, and I'll show you what the ghost does to you. Um, the ghost animation is actually way bigger than the ghost's hitbox. Not way bigger, so you can get actually pretty dang close without dying. I took a picture of myself. And knocked myself out. Don't take a picture of yourself, kids. It'll only knock you out, and you'll get killed by a ghost. And there's this guy. Excuse me. I just need to borrow your pet penguin and take it to the jungle. And I'll just show you this world before I tune off. Oh, 
Oh, I wish I could down attack. Like in Rogue Legacy. Oh, you can get a pet frog. It's I have a pet frog, guys! Now, frogs are probably the scariest enemies in the game. But not if you have a pet frog. Do you like this frog? I don't know what to name him. I'm freeing the frog. You cannot pick up other frogs. You have to get a bomb explosion. Whipped your boomerang right out of your hands. And I died from fall damage. Oh, I'm gonna show you something. I need to kill myself until a random event happens. I'll probably only take one try. Two tries? Frog! Frogs, there's orange frogs, which means they blow up. I just want to show you, like, s that there's some th cool random events. Please happen. Piranha plants eat you. But luckily they stand out. Was, that's why TD traps are annoying, cause they usually one shot you. And oh, here's a here's a level. Now this is a zombie level, and look, there's like zombies and stuff. And I'm gonna show you a secret world you can get in through this secret world. You can get in through a secret world through a secret world. So bomb that king tombstone. And Underneath it is a secret world. I lit I found this out by trial and error. I I found all this out by myself. This took me I didn't even notice that I could do it. I just saw a skull with a crown and I was like, maybe I could take this, me being like five or something. Haunted castle Oh no, the door closed behind me. Ooh, spooky. A vampire. I sacrificed the vampire to Kylie. Okay, no, don't sacrifice the pug. I didn't mean to sacrifice you, pug. I'm sorry. Those are, that's a Kylie altar, and if you sacrifice to Kali, you get stuff. So it gives you a reason for actually killing stuff. Other than to get it out of your way. Sacrificed. Oh, how much more do I need to sacrifice to Kali? I'm tired of sacrificing stuff. And here's a crazy knight. He has a shield. It's bulletproof. It's rock proof. It's spear proof. It's laser proof. It's freaking nuke proof for all I know. Look. This is the funny part. Crush. You can crush everything now. Now I'm a tank. I don't have to worry about anything except cheap hitboxes. <clears throat> okay, there's one problem with this. There's sometimes cheap hitboxes with this. And um, sometimes the tiki spikes will go through it. But normally, this is what happens. It's just... Bong! I hate spikes because you can't see them at all.
there's him. Hope you enjoyed watching me fight him. That's just a quick fight. But that's how you beat him. Just crush him with a shield. A bulletproof frog proof shield. Crush him with a shield. A fish proof shield. Crush him, crush him, crush him with a shield. Yeah, I'm probably gonna quit pretty quick because I, uh, I just try not to make my Spelunky streams too long. But yeah, I'll try to do Rogue Legacy at around 1-ish because then I should have some time. Fat Frog. Fat Frog, crush. Hey frog. I wanna push this snail down. I'm bulletproof! I'm boomerang proof. I might not be frog proof, but that's not what matters. Oh, oh my! Um <laughs> one sec, I need to screenshot this. Okay, look at this boomerang. It's magical. It's spinning even though it's it's a ghost boomerang. A fish. I've not tried this, but it defies a piranha plant. It will block bullets too. And it will deflect bullets actually. That dude needs to chill out. Yes. I just might have borrowed a cup of tea from him. I mean, a uh, uh, soda. A two liter of soda. Did you s The bullets will deflect. Um, with, from the shield. That was, was brand off too. What's his problem? Yeah, thank you for defending me. It, it wasn't even like the good soda. It was like... Diet s it was it was the uh what's it called? Dollar store swirl soda or whatever they name their knockoff sodas. I don't know what that guy's problem is. I think he has some issues or something. Look. Hi. I will save you, my lady. One sec. Sacrifice this. Ooh, a skull cup. I want a skull cup. Who doesn't want a skull trophy? Empty skull trophy. What's that do? It... It gives you a t it makes you overpowered. Well, you're never overpowered in this game because there's RNG. But whenever you kill enemies and you get blood, if you fill the skull cup, it gives you one extra heart. But that's pretty easy to do. Reusable? Yes. Reusable. See? Four health and it's empty. Like, this stuff may sound like it's overpowered, but there's always something that can counter it. Like, if somebody whips you. Oh, this is my favorite. It's the alien ship level do you want to see how to get a plasma rifle that can destroy terrain you do cool watch this oh by the way this world is pretty hard i i haven't tried this but i want to see if it deflects those purple blasts there's tanks kill themselves 
There's turrets that I can deflect the bullets. Thank you back. What? Okay, that's okay. Well, you could. Uh, I hope you can. Well, sorry, bye. Thanks for watching, though. Um, spring chops are evil. Okay, later. See ya. Bye. Well, guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching this stream from Games with Heath. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. <coughs> Sorry for repeating that. Ugh. Sorry, I'm... I have I, I need to eat. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Spelunky Dust. See ya, folks!